y'all. Welcome to another video. Um, I want to start off by making a really uh, huge apology to my subscribers. Um, I don't have very many, but the ones that I do have, um, I cherish each and every one of you to take the time to subscribe to my channel. Um, I've I'm really grateful for that. Um, my apology is that um, there was something devastating that happened to me almost two years ago. And it's coming up on that time where it happened. And I've gotten into, um, I've just gone into like a depression, if you will. Um, I haven't had the inkling to do anything, basically. Um, so I just want to, um, you know, apologize to y'all because I do want to get on a regular schedule. Um, I do want to, you know, maybe do stuff on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, um, you know, or every second or third day, you know, I don't know, but those are my plans is to just try to get my mind off of what I'm going through right now. And, um, you know, hopefully produce, um, items for y'all that y'all can learn from. And, um, you know, I've had a couple of people, you know, reach out to me, um, and, you know, ask me questions and I've tried my best to answer them. Um, so anyway, getting into our project, um, I promised y'all, um, or not promise, but yeah, I think it was in my last video where um, I told y'all that I was going to be doing something mandala. Well, um, I have these coasters, and they're they're really beautiful, um, super super intricate cuts that are in these molds. I love them. I mean, they're they're pretty with without even anything in them. <laughs> so, anyway. <clears throat> mm, excuse me. <clears throat> so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, dry brush um, all four with um, this chameleon powder from Solar Color Dust. And it's um, red, orange, yellow, and um, green um, chameleon. You can't kind of really see it now, but hopefully once it's um, in the coasters and everything, hopefully, you know, we can we can go ahead and be able to see that. Um, after that, I'm going to mix up some resin and um, some black resin. I'm going to color it black um, with my La Res, uh Midnight Black. Y'all know that that's my favorite, <laughs> my favorite black that I work with. Um, <clears throat> anyway, so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to pour some of this chameleon. See, I don't like these envelopes. Anyway, I'm going to pour some of this into this little cup, just so I can manage it better. And we will get started. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these, cause y'all have already seen all four of them. So what I'm gonna do is, um, geez. Can you ever not get any everything out of your mold? <laughs> anyway, 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lightly, just really lightly uh, dry brush this because um, when I pour the black uh, onto it and um, it cure, I want to be able to see all of these colors just really defined. You know, you can see, and being defined, what I mean by that is you can see the red and you can see, you know, this color and you can see that color. Um, so that's why I'm just gonna hopefully just lightly do this. And you know what? I'm gonna go to another brush because this brush is too stiff. I think it's got some kind of, I can't remember what type bristles it has on it, but um, it's just not what I want right now. Anyway, it may or may not <laughs> come out like I want. Oh, we'll see. We will see. So, um, I hope everybody is doing well. It's raining here again. I swear we've had the in the part of the United States where I live. I, I swear it's monsoon. It, it could be monsoon season <laughs> because we have had so much rain. But you know what? It cuts down on the water bill, so I am happy about that. Not that my water bill was ever too high to where I couldn't pay it. But, um, I just don't want to have to pay more than normal. <clears throat> okay, so, um, actually, this is what I'm going to do. Go up the sides. Okay. Um, I can already tell that this is gonna take quite a while and I don't wanna end up with like a, you know, two hour video, <laughs> so. Um, I'm gonna let, I'm gonna speed y'all up while I do this and, um, uh, let y'all listen to some music and then we'll go, we, blur, we will go on to the next step. Okay.
Okay, y'all, I'm back. Um, and this is what they look like. Um, the reason why I took y'all on that little musical journey was because um, as I was painting these, y'all could see the different colors as I was working with the molds um, to try and get all of them painted. So I have my um, black, my black resin, geez, my, my black paste. And that's Interference Red Pearl in that little jar. So um, I'm just going to mix up my resin right now. I wish I could mix it up that quick <laughs> all the time. And come to find out, it wasn't as opaque as I wanted it, but... Um, you know, it ended it ended, it ended up working anyway, um, but um, I could just tell when the um, coasters were curing, um, I could see a little bit through the black. So, um, and it's okay. I mean, they turned out okay, um, but it's not as dark of a black as I wanted. So I'm, I'm kind of working with that interference red pearl because, um, and I'm adding more to it that than what I'm used to because I'm used to working on um, a lot smaller projects than this. So, and I'm not used to having this much resin mixed up at one time. So I kept adding and adding and adding um, that uh, red pearl in there, as you can see, so, um, and I have a feeling that I should have shaken the jar before I poured it in there, because later on you're going to see little bitty clumps, um, because I haven't used that red pearl in, gosh, quite a while, quite a long time, so, um, I'm sure a little bit of humidity has gotten to it or whatever, but um, it just, I had just a few clumps here and there. So um, I'm about to pour that in there. And what I did was I went and got my silicone brush um, because what I want to do is since these, molds have really intricate cuts in them um and you know you've got a hundred thousand nooks and crannies in those molds um i just went and got my silicone brush so i could um pour just a little bit of resin in there and um try to just try to coat the um the bottom of the mold because of the air bubbles and you'll see here in a little bit that it probably may not have made any difference because, yeah, there were a lot of bubbles. And it wasn't because of the resin. Um, it's, it's because <laughs> how the mold was made. And I've, basically, I was trying to paint the um, resin onto the mold because I just wanted to try and get every nook and cranny on there. And it was, it was difficult, but yeah, it's, it's going to be probably a, a long time before I use these molds again. And you'll see why here in just a few seconds. Now, I don't know if y'all can tell it, but when you look at that black, it kind of looks like a dark, dark, super, super, super dark purple. 
and that's because of that interference red pearl Yeah, I'm telling y'all about the bubbles. <laughs> um, yeah, I have this sped up like times three. So, um, yeah, I, bubbles. You can see the bubbles coming up. It was kind of a nightmare, actually. And it kind of wasn't so bad in that mold right there. Um, I think it's it, it might be this one or the third one that, I mean, bubbles after bubbles after bubbles. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> so here I go. Just doing a thin layer. And I just I just didn't want to take up a lot of time um, like I did with the first mold. So that's why I just went ahead and said, screw it. I'm just going to pour like half the resin in there and go around and, and just maybe try and get out the bubbles. <laughs> bubbles see I couldn't believe it I just couldn't believe it you know I could have gone ahead and poured the rest of my resin on there but you know I was thinking okay so what if I have twice as many bubbles <laughs> it was oh my god it was a nightmare y'all Mm, excuse me. Plus the fact that I could not believe how much resin these coasters hold. I mean, each coaster, I estimate, because I'm, that, that's eight ounces of resin. And it filled, it almost filled two coaster molds. So, all in all, this project takes almost 16 ounces of resin. It doesn't look like it, but trust me, <laughs> you're, you're watching how much of resin I'm going to be using. So, yeah, I'm just, I'm waiting on the bubbles to go away. And, you know, as you see... I'm hitting them with the heat, uh, and then I'm going, okay, well, I'm just going to go with the alcohol. So that's why I'm just sitting there. <laughs> and it was kind of like, you know, when you, when you see a roach in your house, and you go and get the bug spray or whatever, <laughs> You're, you're trying to get rid of this roach, and the roach runs and hides, and oh, that was, that's like how it was. So I'm just um, going in and filling up this mold right here. And as I poured, I was just sitting there. Thinking to myself, I cannot believe that with just these two molds, they hold almost eight ounces of resin. And I don't know if you can tell, but there's not much resin left in that big cup. I think there's maybe an ounce, maybe, I don't know. 
I wasn't paying attention. I was just trying to get rid of the bubbles. <laughs> oh my god, y'all, and look, y'all can tell that it's, they're just never ending. I couldn't believe it. Anyway, so I'm just pouring the rest of this resin in um, this mold. And it took up uh, about half of it, half of that resin. So you figure probably eight and a half ounces of resin for... Um, three moles. So as you can see there, I'm dragging my brush through the silicone to silicone. Jeez, it's late, y'all, and I'm tired. Um, I'm dragging my silicone brush through the um, the resin just to maybe see if I can keep bubbles from coming up. But, I mean, and when I, when I get, when I get done pouring, um, yeah, I had a little boo-boo, wasn't paying attention. Um, when I get ready pouring, I don't want to see any bubbles at all. And that was what I was trying to do. Um, with with the alcohol. Anyway, so they um these have cured probably oh I would say about three quarters of the way. Um they were close um and hard enough to where I could get them out of the um molds. So I'm looking at it for little pinholes. I don't think that one had too many. Look at the bubbles. <laughs> I just, oh my God, y'all. I, I just can't believe it. I have never, ever, ever had a project... Yeah, see the see the pinholes. I have never had a project where just I had that many bubbles and couldn't get rid of them. I got rid of probably I don't know eighty five percent of them. Yeah, see, I'm pointing out the pinholes. Yes, let's point out our mistakes actually it's not my mistake it's oh, i couldn't believe these molds i mean they're beautiful and i love the coasters how they came out but um yeah so this is what they um look out look out look like outside so until next time y'all I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.